Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a little how-to video. Now, if you have wondered how people are doing the information that looks like this here in the top left screen of games, if they're doing benchmarks or whatever, and you've tried to actually do it yourself and you don't know what they're doing or how they're doing it or what program, I'm going to actually be showing you guys what program this is and how you actually activate the settings to make it show up. This isn't a difficult video, pretty quick one, but I feel like it might have been helpful. I know I had this question not too long ago and I couldn't be the only one. So let's get into it. So what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and open up your internet browser, whichever one it is you're using, doesn't matter. And you're gonna want to search MSI Afterburner. So you're gonna search that should possibly be the first one that comes in up. It's msi.com, so MSI Afterburner. And we're gonna actually want to download MSI Afterburner. Now, there may be some incorrect misconceptions about this program. You don't have to have MSI hardware to actually use this program. You don't have to have a special graphics card to use this program. It's just some software, some overclocking software and anybody can use it. So we're going to need MSI Afterburner. So once you got it downloaded, you're going to go ahead and extract the files and you're going to go to MSI Setup, wherever it is that you extracted the files to. So you're going to go to it, tell it to do its setup and it'll run through its prompts and you'll tell it, OK, next, 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 accept the terms. Now here's the part where you want to make sure you click both of these because you're going to need both of these programs here. So you'll go ahead and do the installation process. I've actually already installed it, so I'm not going to do it again, but I wanted to make sure I got to the screen so you could see it. Make sure you have both of those checked, going to need them both. So you'll install the program. Once the program's installed, we'll go ahead and open it. So I'm going to go ahead and open mine. So now we got MSI Afterburner open and yours probably looks like this so very easy all we have to do is just go into the settings so you'll click the little cog here it'll come up we're going to actually want to go to monitoring so here is where we actually make stuff show up and now you should see under the monitoring tab you should see gpu temperature gpu usage memory usage list goes on you can just go down and you can scroll through whatever it is but how you actually make it show up in a game is you will go to whichever one you're wanting to show. So GPU temperature, for example, you'll click on that and then you'll go down here where it says show in on screen display. This is where you actually force it to show up in a game. You'll make sure that box is checked if you want whatever information to show up. Now to make sure something is showing up, Make sure it's checked because that makes it actually look at that information. So we've got that information there. It's showing up. It's showing on the end screen display. And you can actually change what it is you want it to say. So if you look here down at the bottom, it says graph limits. Well, I can actually change the name or label of whatever it says on the display. So if I want to name my graphics card, which I've already done here. You can change the name right here. You'll apply it and that information will show up in a game. I'll pull up a game so you can see what I'm talking about. So it makes a little bit more sense, but anything you're wanting to have displayed in a game will be here. So even frame rates, frame rates is a little bit further down here, but here it is. Now that is how you make it show up. But let's go ahead and show you guys how to change your skin if you do want to do that. That's an easy one too. Might as well do it since we're in the settings already. So it's actually in the user interface. And if you like the one that I had before, which I definitely do, it's going to be the Mystic Afterburner one. So, and you can mess with the scaling, you can make it bigger if you want to or you can make it transparent. You got a bunch of different settings. So I like this one. That's the one I want to run with. So there you go. Now, 
to make sure it shows up in a game, this has to actually be open anytime you run a game. So make sure it's open if you run a game. Now, I'm going to open up Cyberpunk just so you guys can see it firsthand, first live. So let's do that. Don't be trying to judge me on my PC specs right now, okay? We are struggling over here with this 2080 Ti. Which brings me to another point. I may be doing a, another video to optimize the performance of Cyberpunk. So if you took, you can, you can see it right now. I've got it actually going live right now in the game. In the top left, you see the RTX 20 Ti that I was talking about, where you can actually change the names of different things. You see my GPU usage, you can see my core clock, you can see the temperature. And you can put whatever information there that you want to. You just have to do it there in the monitoring and make sure that you have it checked for the on screen display. And it's that easy, guys. It's really not that tough. So, guys, that's going to do it for the video. It's a quick one, not too hard. Share the video, you know, like it if you liked it. If this was helpful, let me know. I'll catch you in another one. Hope you can like, hope you can subscribe. Remember, it's a vibe. A tech vibe. We'll see you.